MMA Weekly here with Chris Camozzi out in, out in Denver, Colorado, uh, just outside of Factory X Muay Thai, where Chris has been training for uh, UFC Fight Night 88, coming up on May 29th in Las Vegas. How's training been going, Chris? Oh, it's good. We just wrapped up um, my last night of sparring, and from here on out, I'll go nice and light and uh, you know just keep everything sharp and ready for the fight. So made it injury-free out of camp, nothing, nothing hurting and feeling great. Yeah, it looks like you're uh, you're in great shape, and you were looking really good out there tonight on the sparring. Uh, have you worked with any uh, different people this time for your camp, or have you kept it all here in Denver? Have you moved around a little bit? What's um, we had quite a few really really high level good guys come through the gym. Um, let's see, I think I said Lorenz Larkin had come out here for a bit. Um, yeah. Anthony Smith had been out here, and then uh, I spent a little bit of time in Long Island training with Chris Weidman and uh, Ray Longo and those guys, but. Here at Factory X, I got a, a big stable of guys to train with as well. You know, my usual guys that I always train with that uh, we like to beat each other up. Well, that had to have been great getting a little time with Weidman too before he had to pull out of his fight with Rockhold. He was preparing for a title fight, and yeah, that's some, that's some pretty high level training to get in before your fight. So, yeah. but yeah, I know you usually stay out here and. Um, with the altitude and everything, does that, have you noticed over the years, does that make you feel more relaxed going into fights and stuff? Yeah, it's a huge difference. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. It's um, having the altitude here, I feel like gives me an extra round. Um, you know, when I go to Vegas, I feel great. When I go to sea level, even though the week of cutting weight, you know, I'll, I'll be dieting down, cutting weight pretty hard, and I can get on the treadmill for an hour easy and run, um, as opposed to here. And I just feel like my, my muscles recover better, I sleep better. Um, so it's, it's great to get out there for a week, um, the week of the fight, and just get great sleep. My body feels great there. Um, and just all around cardio, I, I feel a huge difference. Now preparing for this fight out here, um, you know, you've got, uh, I think it's Vitor Miranda coming up. Big fight for you, but you've been, you've been, um, you know, you've been fighting for quite a long time now, and, and so has he, but uh, what's kind of your approach to fights now in the, in the UFC now that you've been around for a long time and you have a lot of experience built up and you've been through that get close to a title shot, kind of pull back a little bit. Has your perspective on fights changed much over the years? Definitely. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going in there to win fights anymore. I'm going in there to finish fights. Um, I used to tell myself, and I, and I think fighting is a lot of mental the mental game. So I always used to go in there and say, I'm gonna win this fight, I'm gonna win this fight. Um, everybody goes in there to win. I'm going in there to finish fights now, not just to win. Um, anything short of that, you know, I'll be disappointed. So I'm gonna be looking for the finish the entire fight. And uh, try not to think as much. In, in my past, I feel like my coaches and I have talked about, I'm in there trying to be technical, but thinking too much rather than reacting. And uh, so now I just pull the trigger and react. Do you think that's something that's kind of slowed you down in the past? Because, you know, I, every, everybody wants to get in that title picture, and, you know, maybe that maybe that's changed over the years, too, how big of a goal that is or isn't. But, uh, you know, just having that mindset of trusting yourself, trusting your instincts, I guess that plays into confidence, maybe? Is that more? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Having um, confidence that your skills are there and your coaches have instilled that in you? Yeah, I've always been confident, but at the same time, you know, with the UFC and, and being on the highest level, sometimes you're, you're fighting for your job every single time or uh, just your career in general. So it always plays a part in the back of your mind, but now, you know, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm going in there fighting without any worries, I'm fully confident in my cardio and everything else. And, and everything I've done in the gym should be way harder than the fight. So. I just tell myself that it's another day and I can push through, you know, five rounds if I need. This is only a three round fight, but you know, even this camp when I was in New York, I was training with Chris for a title fight. So we'd go four or five rounds of sparring and uh, I felt great. How important is that to you now? Speaking of five round fights, I mean, how important is the title to you at this point? Cause I mean, everybody starts out, that's the goal. That's the, you know, everybody has to get there, but you know, along the way, there's a lot of guys who maybe never get that shot. You might still, you might not, but uh, where do you put the championship in your list of things that you need to achieve before you retire or, or call it a day? Um, it's definitely on my list still, obviously. Um, I didn't get in this sport to just kind of get by. 
Um, I always want to be the best at everything I do. I'm super competitive. Um, and it, it's definitely there, but it's one fight at a time, and it's finishing fights, like I said. My main goal is to finish every fight. And I think if I do that, then the title comes in itself, you know? So it's just but, don't look too far ahead. Don't look too far ahead, but at the same time, I'm not trying to duck and dodge my way up. I'll fight everybody they give me, and uh, I'm going to finish everybody they give me. Well, and you're fighting a pretty tough guy in Peter Miranda next week. Um, you know, he came up through, I think, through Tough Brazil, but he came up as a heavyweight in the UFC. But he's actually, and after not doing so well in the finale, he came down to middleweight in his next fight, from heavyweight down to middleweight, and he's done pretty well reeling off three fights in a row. What do you know about Miranda and his style, and how would you kind of break him down a little bit going into the fight? Uh, I'd say his style feeds mine real well. Um, he's a traditional Muay Thai guy. Uh, he did fight at heavyweight, but same thing with that show. I, I kind of remember watching a little bit of it a few episodes. There wasn't a lot of legit heavyweights on that show. He was maybe and, fighting above his weight class a little bit for that? Yeah, I mean, the guy that won the show is fighting at middleweight, too. I don't remember his name, but right. he's a middleweight, too, and that just kind of tells you that a lot of those guys were kind of blown up for the show, even though they were weighing in heavy. Um, and I think the guys that were true heavyweights on that show were not very skilled. Um, okay. You know, it's one thing to be there, and it's another thing to, to watch it. But for me, watching it, I don't think the competition on that show was as big as some of the other ones. And I don't think Vito Moran has ever fought anybody on my level. Um, the guys that he's knocked out have been running away from him, and they get caught with the head kick or they gas out. Um, I don't gas out, and I'm not going to run away from him. Yeah, he's talking about him as a Muay Thai guy. That actually really, really does play into your skill set quite a bit because you are a very good Muay Thai striker. But do you think that your striking style matches up well with him as far as it being similar, or just, or do you have different tweaks to it that you think give you an advantage? Uh, I think my striking is better than his. Um, his is, is basic but effective, um, and the basics are good. But I'm a southpaw. Um, I bring a lot more tools to the game uh, with striking and on the ground. You know, I think my jiu-jitsu is better than his, and, and my wrestling is better than his. So this fight, I feel more than confident. Um, it's kind of funny. Every every fight I've seen of his, Mike Goldberg gives the line of uh, Vitor Miranda was once considered the best Muay Thai guy in Brazil. Um, <laughs> so I think come next week, I might be considered one of the best Muay Thai guys in Brazil. All right, well, Chris, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today at MMA Weekly, and uh, good luck against Vitor Miranda and out in Las Vegas, UFC Fight Night 88, May 29th. Check it out. Awesome. Thank you, guys.